power system operation and control, in real power frequency control, in a single area system, solved problem 3. So, an isolated power system has the following parameters. The turbine rated output is 325 megawatt, nominal frequency 50 hertz, governor speed regulation 0 0.05 per unit, inertia constant h is 5.0, turbine time constant is 0.5 second, governor time constant is 0.2 second, load change del PD is 60 megawatt. The load varies by 0.8 percentage for a 1 percentage change in frequency. That means for 1 percentage change in frequency, the load varies 0.8 percentage. So, find the steady state frequency deviation in hertz. Solution. So, the load varies by 0.8 percent for a 1 percentage change in frequency. So, the rate of change of load with respect to frequency, which is given as B or D, that will be equal to dou PD by dou F. So, the load change is 0.8 percentage. So, 0.8 divided by 100 into the load value 325 megawatt divided by 1 percentage change in frequency 1 by 100 into 50. So, that gives you 5.2 megawatt per hertz in per unit divided by the rated power, the base power. So, 5.2 divided by the base power is 325. So, that gives you 0 0.016 per unit megawatt per hertz. Second one gain. So, gain Kp equal to inverse of B that will be equal to 1 divided by 0 0.016 equal to 62.5 hertz per per unit megawatt. Next one time constant direct formula Tp is equal to 2h divided by B f naught. So, 2 into h is inertia constant which is given in the problem as 5 divided by B is 0 0.016 per unit into the frequency 50 that gives you 12.5 second. So now the change in load is given in the question which is 60 megawatt in terms of per unit it is 60 divided by 325 that is 0 0.1846 per unit and speed regulation in per unit is R is equal to 0 0.05 per unit actual speed regulation is per unit value into base value. So per unit value is 0 0.05 and the base value is 50. So here the speed is directly related with the frequency. So, 0.05 into 50 that gives you 2.5 hertz per per unit megawatt. So, now considering the block diagram, the reduced block diagram. So, from the dynamic analysis of uncontrolled single area system. So, del f of s is equal to kp into 1 plus stg into 1 plus stt minus del pd of s divided by 1 plus stp 1 plus stg 1 plus stt plus Kp by R. So, this expression we derived directly from the dynamic analysis of uncontrolled single area system considering all the constants and gain. In the derivation we assume this Tg and Tt is equal to 0, but here in the problem the values are specified. So, keep the expression as it is. So, now these are the data we obtained from the given data and we found in the first step. So, del f of s equal to Kp value 62.5 substitute all the values from the given data and the data we found in the first step 1 plus s into tg tg is 0.2 plus 1 plus s into tt minus del pd of s divided by 1 plus stp plus 1 plus stg plus 1 plus stt plus kp by r multiplying these two terms we will be getting this expression a quadratic function and in the denominator also multiply these three terms and you will be getting this expression. So, in the numerator 62.5 and here taking 0.1 out you will be getting s square plus 7s plus 10. So, for a step load change del pd of s equal to del pd divided by s. So, del pd already we know it is 0 0.1846 per unit so, substituting that. 0.1846 divided by s. Applying the final value theorem, del f start equal to limit s tends to 0 s into del f of s. So, substituting the whole expression of del f of s here, multiplying it, it with s. So, in the formula it is given s into del f of s. So, we can cancel out this s and this s. 
for the remaining term if you do the simplification substituting s equal to 0 the equation remains like this and you will be getting minus 0 0.44375 as a answer for del f star steady state frequency variation and the system frequency also changes according to the change in steady state frequency so the initial value of frequency is f0 plus del f star so f0 is 50 and the del f star is minus 0 0.44375 so the system frequency become 49.5562 hertz